Here we are, Marcus's Market Meals. We're down on the Fulham Road at Naked Nosh with Michael. How are we doing? Very well, how are you? Good, good. Just quickly tell us about Naked Nosh. Really exciting. Uh, my new project started uh, nearly a year ago now and uh, just wanted to offer um, a healthy and alternative British Mediterranean menu for people to take away and delivery. Because I mean, that's the thing we saw when we arrived there, you it had a couple of deliveries going out. And it, so, you literally, it's, so instead of the more traditional takeaway, it's just good, wholesome it's food. It's just good, wholesome food, uh, all uh, locally sourced. We use uh, Great Butcher Road and uh, yeah. lots of lo local suppliers. Perfect. Yeah. No, a really great idea. We're naked Nosh, guys, naked Nosh. So, the meal I put together for this week pate starter from Patchwork, that's the brandy and herb pate. We've got the Henshaw Woods chutney for cheese and uh, really nice oat cakes from Pimhill there. Simple starter, just nice and easy, and you're probably, if there's two of you, going to be left with half the patty as well for another day. Michael's going to show us how to cook the two steaks now, so talk okay. us through this. We've got two lovely ribeye steaks, lovely bit of marbling, nice bit of fat, which is going to help flavour the meat. All I'm going to do is drizzle them with a little of extra virgin olive oil and just rub that into the meat on both sides before we start. Now, make sure that great marble, the steaks isn't it? shouldn't stick to, those, to the grill. Make sure the grill is really nice and hot. I'm not going to season it yet. I'd like to season it after I've sealed it. So we're going to get these steaks. What I like to do is just very light spray of olive oil on the grill. So just as hot and as you can get it. On the hottest possible section of the grill. This will help if you like your steak extra rare. You want a really good sear on the outside, but nice and pink in the middle. And uh, obviously, if you like your steak cooked a bit more, still use the hottest part, sear it, get the colour on, get a nice crust on the outside, then turn it down. So right. you slowly cook it. You don't lose too much moisture. If you like your steak more medium or medium to so well. So what's the general rule? Yeah, uh, 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 rare is what four minutes. Rare, I would say two and a half, uh, two and a half to three minutes on okay. the side and probably add another 30 seconds to 40, 30 to 50 seconds for each side for every notch along okay. the way that you're going. Right. So you can see it's starting to colour up on the sides Lovely. there. And we'll get this. We'll get under the first leg. There you go, you've got a nice mark on that. Wow. Okay, we've got a little seasoning on those. So what's the soup? Just a bit of salt? Just or? a bit of sea salt, a bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Just a light seasoning. Because we're going to be adding the chimichurri yep. to the steak afterwards. So maybe we do the, uh, we also do the Anglesey sea salt, Helen Mon sea salt in the uh, market as well guys. So maybe grab a pot of that as well. So right, so, so uh, we're going to go pretty rare on these yep. ones. Uh, we, I like to serve a steak. Uh, we're going to add some chimichurri to it. Yep. Uh, it will perfectly complement the classic um, Italian way of serving a steak on a bed of rocket salad okay. with a little shaving of parmesan and work really, really well together. Yeah, so. So, yeah, so the O'Shea meat is uh, traditionally with, um, it's an Angus, Angus Cross from Scotland. It's 28, 21, uh, 21 to 28 days hung. Um, just really, really well bred meat. O'Shea's uh, Dara there at O'Shea's really takes a lot of effort in, in sourcing his beef, guys. So, uh, you know, when you, uh, you you are pretty much getting some of the best in the country there. So what we'll do is we'll rest the meat for a couple of minutes. It's always good to allow the, the meat to rest and allows the moisture inside right. to stay Oh, fit. so you shouldn't take the meat straight off and, and, and serve and it? No, you should. Uh, meat well, should always rest at uh, least two to three minutes. Well, I mean, you wouldn't want to come around to one of my barbecues. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so straight off the I'm barbecue. Going on the plate and it's, uh, we start eating straight away. So okay, these are going to be quite quite rare. Okay. So we're going to leave those to rest for a minute or two. And then we've got the plates ready here. And, uh, wow, that's lovely. So yeah, so the uh, the O'Shea meat, as I say, guys, definitely definitely worth checking out. The Patchwork Pate, just a great uh, great company, that one. And you all know that's my family and my mother, so uh, we won't have a bad word said against Patchwork, guys. So have a definitely check out the pates. And you're going to really enjoy that starter as well. I was in a, a restaurant locally in Kilburn the other day and uh, that, that's, more and more people seem to be serving steak this way now. There we go, drizzle up the sauce on. Okay. Whoop. There we go, bit of a bit of a boy approach that one. The cheese which will complement the chimichurri really well with its piquancy. That's there excellent. Wow, look at there that. Mmm. Awesome. 
Mm. That is absolutely perfect. Love it. That chimichurri sauce really sets that steak off, guys. Such a simple meal as well. Two of you for dinner, very simple. And I've suggested finishing off with the Snowdonia Black Bomber. And now I've used the chutney for cheese, um, as well as with the pate, it's there. So you get the chutney, you can use at both ends of the meals. The oat cakes you can use at both ends of the meals. And again, you'd probably use half the cheese, so you've still got half in the fridge for later on in the weekend or something. So guys, click below the video you've just watched. I put everything into one box for delivery, nice and simple. Don't forget to add anything else in the market that you like. These artisan producers put so much passion, just like Michael, when, you know, cooking with good artisan food, you know, wholesome, traditional food, you know. So uh, all I can say is I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the video. Marcus's Market Meals is going to be quite a regular feature now, guys. So uh, please enjoy. Check the, click out the option below. And, uh, mate, thanks a lot. That was really kind. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.